might win this best of seven. They should win this best of seven only with their standard play style, their early game. To everyone tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last game of the M5 World Championship where either the Golden Throne will be completed or the World Tour be completed. We're jumping into the game where this game will determine the World Champions. There's no other way to see it happen. One last time. Rizal Memorial, Coliseum, give it up for the two teams. Now, Keep boy as well as Oak went man-to-man -man defense, looking at each other here. Looks like this time maybe Bran is opting not to go aggressive into the jungle. Kyrie, for once, will have an easier time forming up to level four. CW opted to go for the purify, knowing that he can be gone upon by Ogwen. And obviously, Flaptiz, he can go for the flicker place. We know. I can eliminate the Goldener easily. So Wind of Nature might be rushed here by CW. Maybe his, his third item, or maybe fourth. Okay, some damage placed down. Quick Sand Guard gets him a bit more HP. Kyrie already looking for an invade. Kalti is able to clear it out. Just a big one though. Kyrie looking for a little small one. Retrieves it, gets level four, and pokes Kalti getting boots a bit more prio in the bottom lane. And, and again, we got to look at how Sans and Keyboy. I got to say this duo has been doing well for Onik, but the same can be said for Few as well as Oakwen. I do feel like with the composition that they both have, the mid duo is going to be a very big impact in this game. Speaking of uh, the mid duo here for Keyboy as well as Sans, it's a, it's a tricky duo because you clear the waves fast, but you don't necessarily stay in that lane. It's going to be up to Onik on how they utilize this, Keyboy, Kadira. And at the same time, AP Bren, they don't have the best heroes to kind of check the bushes. Maybe Kyle TZ could be there, but of course Few can uh, save his teammates, but they're not built for this Kadira. Few able to pull them in, but not that much damage. Both Sans as well as Boost just won that level four. Kyle TZ already leashing the turtle in a position where he can cancel at any moment. Kyrie thinks about it. Both Boost as well as Sans, now level four. Doing the same thing. Kyrie with the shield unity into the back right now, able to connect it onto Ogwen, who has the Earth Shatter. And now the onward. Turns the boy Sans. Flap finds him. The real world replacing. Just popped him. First blood secured by Flap Another Another round coming down as Boost deals some damage. Retribution battle still for Kyrie, but Few finds it. And that's going to be a skill from Keyboy. Ogre with the primal wrath. The Praiser's wrath. Ogwen gets the kill onto Keyboy. And Onik loses out in the first turtle fight. Oh, yeah, definitely. AP Brand won the turtle, won the fight. This is the usual story of this best of seven. Look yes. at AP Brand to win the early. Yes. It's the early game for AP Brand all the time. They're the masters of the early game that we saw all throughout this M5. Every time that they win, they destroy their enemies in the early stages. And you gotta say, FAPTG started the charge once again, going in for the flicker play. In fact, they have Pope Sands. Sands forced to use the flicker and the real world manipulation to try keep, to keep himself alive. But in the end, during the turtle fight, he was a non factor. And it's all thanks to FAPTG. Yep, now, looking at the item builds here, the Claude has to delay a little bit just because he has to build a little bit of defense, but Boots getting attacked here. Look at that burst, my goodness. The Ghost Bursters as well, Boots, defensive penalty zone, Kalfizi dives, Flicker, out. Real world manipulation, popped down by Sans Ogwen. Just posturing, zoning Boots away, meanwhile. Well, looks like CW just Ooh. wants to farm up safely here. My and goodness. again, Onik, they have to find a way to slow down the game while AB Brand has to figure out how to get these objectives because they've been getting the kills. They got the turtle. Yeah. The faster they can get the outer turrets, the more space they're going to deny from exactly. Keyboy. However, few with two assists and a lot of late, late prior, able to get to level six. It's actually a level, almost a level ahead of Suns. Going to be waiting for that. That's a massive lead that AB Brand has. More resources, more EXP means that in the early stages of the game, yeah, surely they have the advantage and they can team fight. And eventually they will activate Super Marco. Fortunately for Onik, the turtle is onto the bottom lane where Super Marco is not at. It means that they might not suffer from the Brody, but at all the same, Onik, they don't have the best tools to go up against AP Bren, anyways. Yep, and now we're looking at a turtle. Kyle Teasy initiated. Kyrie finds Flap. The Flap just wants to wait. A little bit of time, he sees Sans. 
Pokes him down. There's a good amount of damage. Kalteezy as well there. Both junglers at level 7. Flap on a turtle. No quick sand guard this time around. Kyrie picks up the gold buff. Meanwhile, up top, there's also a little bit of a gank. Oh, going to be caught. Taken down. Kyrie versus Flap versus Kyle, and it's Flap who takes it. Kyrie brought back to the team in the Shadow Stampede. The real world manipulation. Not enough to take wow. it down. Kyrie with the juice. Whoa. And that is a trade. One kill up top for a turtle for AP Brent. Kyrie is one of the oh. only junglers that can play a utility hero like exactly. an assassin. How do LDD turn the needle? He gets out and into safety. Unfortunately, still missed the retribution. So, still massive coming up from AP Brand. Almost a free turtle, if you think about it, because they didn't lose anything. At the same time, Arnik had to just back down after all their investments that they did. Few in the mid lane, very low nether realm. Popped in, Kyrie brought back to the team and onward. They're shattered. Not connecting bomb, game on! With a rough wave! Ogwin Bali, few as well! That was Kyle! With an appraiser's wrath, he boy finds the oddity. Another one on the Marco. Oh! But Sans picks him up. This Ooh. is why I say, man, Super Marco, as well as CW, they're developing a relationship. Super Marco came in and was like, I want to go down, but you're going to come with me. And that's a positive trait, obviously, for Onik as they switch back to toward their side. They give two, two assists. CW one kill after that. Eventually he died, but that's all, all good for the for a Claude who's looking for farm in this early stage of the game. Most importantly, they have punished Kyle TZ and Onik have recovered. It's gonna be good for the Indonesian squad. Hey, I, I just want to say, man, this time they're picking up the pace. Both teams are fighting. I would say in a faster tempo here. Yes. Both teams are finding the mistakes, and this is what happens in the best of seven. Key boy. I gotta say, very good counter engage Wonderful. coming in from AP Brand is like AP Brand it strikes, but then Keyboy is just like, I'm just waiting for you guys to clump up. And he, he look at I want to deal maximum damage. Look at his position right now. He's trying to pin down Super Marco without the flicker. He does have the petrify. Super Marco not feeling oh, so right. confident, walking towards that bush, and that's a smart decision on his part. I mean, at this point, he doesn't want to get wet, man. Like, he, he smells something, and he's like, I'm smelling a fish. Kyrie smelling an engage. Flapteezy jumps forward to Petrify. He knocks Flapteezy out, but he's still able to get out in time. The quick sand card buys him a little bit more time. CW able to bat away with a battle mirror image, but he did just bait out a raging sandstorm and a quick sand guard. That's good enough, because me sands can pop the ultimate this time. No Petrify this time, though, for Keyboy. Oh. CW no blazing to it. Flapteezy jumping forward on the sands. Doing a bit more damage. CW trying to turn it around. Earth Shatter. Ogwen compromised. Oh, look Onward at the turtle. Out. Turtle. Kaltizi finds it. A beautiful retribution. A beautiful macro play by AP Brett. Looks like Onik, they just want to get some kills. They don't really want to contest with the turtle because we saw that they are basically avoiding the turtle. They just want to go in. They want to get Super Marco down. Speaking of Super Marco, looks like He-Boy has to use the rough ways to, to escape. We see AP Brenda pushing the envelope up top. Blazing the wet on the Super Marco. Still able to disengage for now. Pots in the snacks to zone TW away. Does the same to Kyrie and Boots is waiting in that bush. Flap TZ needs to back off. And Onik and AP Brent, both these teams. Look at Kyle TZ. He's taking advantage of this chaos. He's like, hey, if you guys want to go up top, I'm going to go to your purple bomb. It's a massive win. The retribution, he steals it. AP Brent are making micro moves that eventually pile up. And now it's great macro from AP Bren. They have regained the lead because of the small things that they have done. And, and they are doing it cleanly. Oh yeah, very clean. Right now, Onik, it looks like they're being more responsive than being proactive. Whatever AP Bren is doing, they want to counter it for better or for worse. And AP Bren, I kind of feel like they, they're starting to understand the mentality coming in from Onik. So if you guys are waiting for us to make a move, well, we're going to give you the sleight of hand. We're going to show you the left side while we take something from the right. Bro, this up, up, up top. That means Onik might go for the push here. But Flap TZ ever so on point with the defense. And AP Bren are just denying everything away from Onik. Onik just can't catch a break. Yeah, look at the position from Onik. Everyone is on one side uh -oh. of the map. Sounds now engaged on right now. No not paper. able to pop anything in time and falls. Keyboy in the midst of it all. Petrify, rough waves. Taunted up, cancelled out. What a Too bad! Kyle Teasy shuts Keyboy down. A turn of our memory onto Kyrie, who pops in. That tortoise's poison. 
And AP Bren now with a significant advantage oh, in the no. mid game. The mental distress, man, is getting to Onik. That's Sans right. Sans now making mistakes. And the, the, the problem there for Sans as well as Key Boy is that they're not tanky heroes. They're eliminated easily. They didn't have their flickers. And the thing is, the Lord was already respawning during that time. So every single move that Onik did in that fight is a mistake. And AP Bren punishes with the Lord Jake. Right now, AP Bren, 3,400 gold lead. Onik, they have CW on this quad. It's possible. But AP Brand, I don't feel like they want to wait that long. They're waiting for that, that point where Onik will concede a team fight. And then they might try to push to end. Stampede, Kyrie with the flank. A weird angle, an off angle to catch AP Brand off. The Purify gonna be used up by few. CW claims the orange buff. Keyboy gets out of the taunt. Lord spawning back in the land of dawn. This time on AP Brand's side of the map. It'll be the defense for Onik. Fortunately for them, they have all the tools to defend. They have an Eve. And this is something that they can use to bridge the early game to the mid game. At this time, Onik needs to go full anti-disaster protocol now. They need to just regain the, their part of the map at least. Yeah, and they can use the Eve for that one. So Marco able to get the turret up top. Kyrie so far is taking the opportunity of AP Brand setting everything up for him to farm for himself because he understands that he needs to get as tanky as possible. Hold up, that turret. Ooh, still kept alive by Onik. Now looking at the mid lane tier one. Boots holding it down, but the turret should fall tier one over to AP Brand. You see that move coming up from Kautiz. He's zoning out the members of Onik by just literally walking down and AP Brand are e taking the easy turret in the middle. Further increasing their lead to 4k and off of course they're gonna get another turret Now Onik, their base falls. This is not looking good for Onik. You can hear the cheers coming in Amy Brand has the energy coming in from the crowd. Boots goes in, Kyrie as well Does the same, now taunted up, brought back to the team. Turtles of Boy Sans gonna be used up, Kyle Teezy Has the appraiser's wrath, gets chunked down, penalty down! Five boots! Five Teezy, Ragey Sans to the back, Keyboy boy leaving the flag right now, goes in but doesn't find anyone! Rough waves, only onto one. Boots brought back once again. Ogwen can seal, Earth Shatter to lock Boots down. Kyle doing the same thing. Keyboy with Oddity. Kyle Teasy with Lock Up. Ogwen with a follow up. And that's the Earth Shatter to lock Onik down. Onik, they made a move. That was a brave engage. Everything went right, but the damage was not enough. Mid lane base turret at risk of getting taken down. One more shot. Two home. base turrets, 10 seconds on the clock for Keyboy, 6 for Boots. Admirable coming out from Onyx to go for the play. Because Boots landed a beautiful penalty zone, but they didn't have the damage. And Sans was sitting back. In fact, CW was babysitting Sans during that time because he knows that the Khalid will eventually jump and they needed to punish. What that meant is that after the jump coming out from Boots, there wasn't any follow-up damage. Even the real world manipulation is not enough because the flap, because the Nether Realm is available. So Onik tried to go for the play, didn't have the items to back it up, and unfortunately lost so much because of that gamble. AP Brand now doing the Lord as Kyrie! One against oh, three, no. brought back and taken down. Onik on the brink, and AP Brand capitalized. Now onto Boots, DPZ, keep it with Oddity, with a rough wave, the Nether Realm saves him, CW with a Purify, AP Bren are running on it down. Keyboy gets another sound close! Super Marco has slain the mid lane! But there's no defense, Sans is down for 30 seconds, there's a fat minion of waves in the bottom lane, and they have the Brody! Mid lane, gonna be cleared up right now by Boots, he's still holding on to the bottom wave. The base! They're gonna well. They're gonna They're looking for the base! They're looking for the base! AP Bren! The Sky Kings have been taken down! The Golden Road to them! Bren! Lang! Malakas! The goal, the host country has never won a World Series! Look to the face! They kept the trophy here! They continued the domination! They are the Curse Breakers! The two-time World Champions! They are A.P. Red! It's a pleasure working with you gentlemen. My name is Abel. Alongside with me, Wolf and Mirko. It's a pleasure 
serving all of you here. But now we are throwing it over to Mara with our world champions.